Hi, we're here today in my local syndicate, Swan Valley. I'd like to run you through a rig I've had some great success on of late. It's essentially cross between a multi-rig and a chod, a multi-chod, if you will. I fished this on a length of uh, lead core, helicopter style. It couldn't be simpler to tie. Just take yourself an outturned covert chod hook and a doubled over section of ultra skin stiff. Now the benefits of using this is not only does it keep its rigidity, keeping that all important curve, but on a hefty cast, it doesn't slip. A lesser material would tend to sort of pull through the eye and you'd end up with the hook bait pressed up against the, uh, the eye of the hook, which, which would be no good. It's my definitely go-to rig when you're sort of moving around the pond and you're looking for fish and you see fish showing, you don't know what the lake bed's like, it really is a cracking rig, but just casting out there, safe in the knowledge that it's going to present particularly well over most sort of lake bed bottoms. Key factor also to, to think about is you really do need a sort of buoyant hook bait to keep it bolt upright. It's no good at sort of listing over and acting like a wafter. Um, you want it bolt upright and the hook holds I've had from this have been, well, just, just deadly. You know, the hook holds have been right in there. Um, and now I'd just like to talk you through how I tie it. Take yourself four to five inches of ultra skin stiff. Double it over and form a loop of around an inch. Then proceed to pass the two tag ends for a size 12 flexi ring swivel and tie a two turn blood knot. Moisten and tighten down, cut and blob. Then take a length of dental floss, again passing that over the loop, then proceeding to pass the dental floss through a size four chod pattern hook, then pulling the floss to pull the loop through the front of the eye, coming through to the back, then remove floss, then add on a bait screw with your bait of your choice onto the loop, then pass the loop over the point and pull round until the loop sits roughly level with the barb, then with finger and thumb, start to manipulate and imparting a bit of heat into the material to create a slight curve. Then all you do is simply balance it out with a piece of critical mass putty till you get it to sit how you would like. If looking for a simple to tie and effective pop-up presentation, look no further than this. Whether it's for casting at showing fish when you're unsure of the lake bed or fished on a nice clean spot over a spread of bait, Go out and give it a go, you won't be disappointed. It's a cracker.